Here is the Concord grapevine. And there's Phoebe coming to help with the grape harvest. And we have a bucket with a bag in it. And we filled a few of these buckets up and we filled up several uh, grocery bags full of grapes. So tonight is going to be a hard frost, about 28 degrees. So I figure we should get all the grapes we can. So see, there's a few left. I've picked a lot. And we've been making some grape juice out of them. So let's go over here and see what we got. Any more? Oh yeah, see there's a lot in here. So let's go ahead and start picking the grapes. And we're going to fill our bucket up. So I'm just working myself along the vine here. Trying to strip it. It's really kind of hard to hold the camera and film at the same time. And I'm getting the bucket about a third of the way full. I'm gonna remember to get all the grapes in there. So I've gone along this short little section here. I'll back up so you can see how big it is. And I've stripped all the grapes off of this area up to about here. And I'm, I have the rest of the way to go. A lot of it I've cleaned up already and stripped some at the other end. So we will just keep working, looking, and getting all these grapes pinching them off where they attach to the main branch. I just kind of pull away and I'm careful if they're intertwined because they'll strip the grapes and they'll fall down below. So let's just keep working. Now we have to employ a ladder to get up a little bit taller. I don't want to step in there because of the potato plants. They are starting to die so it's okay for me to kind of crush these plants. This support is in my way. So when I get up here it's probably going to break. But this ladder will be supported against that 4x4 four four stud right there. So let's see what happens. And I might not be able to get any grapes underneath these vines. Here's some. So let's see if we can get this one. So here's how I lost a few, that's okay. Bucket's three quarters full. Look at this, and we're pulling out the vines that are invasive. Oh, it's a tiny one. Here's a better one. So we got three quarters of a bucket and we'll just keep picking them until we get them all. Now I've gone across the entire grapevine and this is what I've gotten today. This bucket is overflowing with grapes. The lip of the bucket is right here. So it's got all those past it. I left one bunch up there kind of green little red way at the top I don't want to have to put the ladder in this section it wouldn't really work I've already cleaned that section from the past and I just went all the way down got every single grape I could find even the ones that fell that still look good so I think I got them all now let's go make Concord grape juice now I've dumped all of the grapes into the sink and I'm washing them. I sanitize the sink and the drain before putting the grapes in it. I'm just going to pick all the grapes out, separate them off of the vines. And this sink is full so it's going to take a while to do this. Now that I've picked off a good number of grapes off the vines here, I'm going to rinse them. Even though I've washed them once, I'm going to rinse them again. So I'm just putting them into a colander in the sink with cold water. Making sure they all look good. That one's a little bit under, but it's okay. So once we get them all rinsed off, I'm going to put them into the juicer right here. Now I have a juicer here that will take all the juice out and feed the pulp through here. 
and I don't want the pulp to fall into the strainer where I'm also straining, some of the seeds and things will get down here, it gets kind of thick. So I just got a little homemade device here. I'm just going to go like that, and this is a little loud when I turn it on. And I've lost the top piece here. Don't know where it went. So I just feed these in by hand. You can hear it munching the seeds up. And when it first starts, you'll get some juice out the front here. So you can just dump that back in. And this first pulp that comes out is really liquidy, so I'm just going to put it back in. Just feed it through. And I just keep doing that with all of these grapes. And since I got a little homemade thing here going on, I got to make sure it stays. I probably should tape it on, but I haven't. And as this comes out, this is still liquidy. I'm going to put it back in. Eventually, the pulp that comes out the end will be dry. And you can use it for other things if you so desire to. A lot of people use their pulp in cooking and baking. Not necessarily great pulp, but other, other pulps they juice. And I've thoroughly washed my hands. Everything's clean. I'm drinking the juice, so I'm fine. This is getting drier now. Still a little. Got a little bit of moisture in it. As this backs up, I just take a plunger and just push it down straight and even. Keep the juice from coming up around the plunger. Well, and I'm just going to keep doing this until we got enough to make grape juice. Now, what I have here is a little slurry. It's gotten a little bit too high over the edge. I filled it a little bit too much. But this still has a lot of, um, of the skins and things that went through the juicer. So it's kind of overflowing. So what I want to do is I have some spring water here. And I'm not going to use tap water. Tap water is junk with everything they put in it. So I just kind of poured some spring water in it. And I'm trying to mix it up so it'll go through the strainer. There are different ways to do it. This is just the way I'm going to do it. You may have your own fancy way and better equipment than I have, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just a small little winery. Oh, oops. No, I mean grape juice. Yeah, that's it. It's making grape juice. So I get that to go down below the level so I can dilute it some more. I'm just going to keep mixing it up till it gets all the way through. Now I have mostly just pure grape juice. There is some water in here and I've strained it best I can. There still may be seeds, but I'm going to take my spring water and just dilute it. And if this isn't enough, I have more spring water to add. Now, since this is raw and it's not pasteurized, nothing's been done to it, it will separate. The slurry will go to the bottom when it's sitting in your fridge. So since it will separate, you want to mix it every time before you drink it. This is my grape juice wooden spoon. You can see how it looks blue. You can see it's the wood color and then it's blue. That's from using it in grape juice. So I'm just kind of mix this up. It's still a little thick. I like it thinner than this, but let's try it. Let's get a glass and make sure the lid looks clean. Wash any, any dust or anything off of the lid. And I'm just going to pour a little bit and we'll taste it. Oh yeah, that's thick. I'm, I'm going to want to add more water to that. Mmm. Oh, that's the best grape juice ever. This is the best grape juice you will ever drink. Mmm. Fresh off the vine. 
it's not pasteurized. It's just been strained and spring water added makes it delicious. Mm. And in the fridge it stays. It stays a week or more in a big container like this one I have. Mm. So that's it for my grape harvest. For my grape harvest this year. Thanks for tuning in.